I am the goal meister. I am the resolution solution. I am the one that's going to make all your dreams come true if you just listen to me. You are listening to And If Love Remains, a unique show spotlighting people, ideas, science, culture, and art. Your host, Mike Lovett. Mike Lovett. You are listening to that great podcast in the sky and the fucking means. I am that host. Yes, that host. Drifting down like an angel. To give you the joys of love and remembering and remaining. Because this is that podcast called And If Love Remains. Um, and we have a special episode today. We're going to talk about it's the first of the year. It is the new year of 2024 lots of stuff is happening but uh i want to talk about goals i want to talk about making things happen i want to talk about what are you gonna do to make 2024 the best year of your life that's what i want to talk about now here's the thing i know how to do this see you're listening to the right guy because I am the goal meister. I am the resolution solution. I am the one that's going to make all your dreams come true if you just listen to me. Just listen to me, my friends. Yes, Mike Levitt and If Love Remains. You heard it here first. First of all, I'm older and wiser than you. Or at least wiser. I may not be older, but I'm definitely wiser. I mean, otherwise, why are you listening? Um... (laughs) <laughs> um, here's the number one thing about goals. Don't set them. Seriously. All you're going to do is disappoint yourself. Like, really? Like, what's the point? You know, hey, listen, this is, this is what most people do. And this is the mistake that most people make. Is they go, oh my gosh, my life is a ruin. My life is a mess. I'm upside down on my mortgage. I got credit card debt. My wife is leaving me. My kids hate me. I I, I mean, I totally understand. I mean, mean, you're a mess, right? I'm going to do the Jordan Peterson thing. You're a mess. Go clean your room. Um, No, but seriously. 2023 was a hard year for a lot of people. And, um... And I, but here's, here's the thing. Don't set goals. Don't set goals. You want to know what to do? Cause, cause here's what most people do. Most people, they go and they, they look at all the problems and then they, um, you know, try to fix them. But, there's a rule that, that we've learned, which says you cannot, it is impossible to do more than one thing at once. Because if you do more than one thing at once, if you multitask, as they used to say back in 2003, if you multitask, then you're only splitting your mind up and you're not doing one thing very well. It's all about energy. Energy, my friend. Energy. That's what it means. So, if you so don't set goals. Find your energy. See, this is this is the anti New Year New Year podcast today. Because if you think Setting goals is going to change your life. If you if you think writing something down on a piece of paper is going to change your life, I, I I'm going to tell you right now you're going to be disappointed because I'm, you know I listen. 
You're going to put it away. You're going to do it for a day or a week. And then next year you'll just be disappointed. And you'll do it again. You know what they say. They say, what do they say, Mike? I don't know. What do they say? They say stuff all the time. People who are they say that they say that the thing that you need to do is to practice something that's not going to make you insane like this podcast. Like, like do, not, do not make this thing insane, this goal thing. And if you do it over and over every year, like you're just wasting time. Wasting time. And that's the worst thing to do. Is to waste time. So I'm going to say it again. Don't set goals. Don't set resolutions. It's not what you want to do. I'm going to tell you what you want to do. If you want to make a change in your life today. If you want to make a change in your life, absolutely right now, look at the sun. Just look at the sun. It comes up every day. And realize that that is its purpose, to come up every day for you. Look at the rain. Its purpose is to rain down on you. But it's not all about you, is it? No. Your kids know that. Your wife knows that. Your friends know that it's not about you. So don't set goals. Don't set resolutions. Well, what do you do, Mike? I'll tell you what you do. You find energy. You find your calling. You find the one thing, just one thing, as that black-hatted man in City Slickers said, that one thing. You know, there's some wisdom in that, that one thing. It's not two things. You don't go through your life and say and do a checkoff list and go, okay, well, I need to lose weight and I need, you know, to fix my relationship. And it's like, check, 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 check. And that ain't how it works. It never has been. Think about anything you've done in your life, like for real. Not fakely done. Not halfway done. Not sort of done. Not did because it, because you're on autopilot. But actually did. Actually created. What kind of energy did that take? Right? You know, when I play the piano... Or when I teach piano, one of the thing, one of the kind of hardest things, or um, I don't know, it's a very technical thing, but it's a very like in your brain thing that you have to. A lot of things about piano and about music is is coming up with analogies because it's not real. Like for example, if you say play the piano legato, play it smoothly, it's impossible to play smoothly. Did you know that? It's impossible to play the piano smoothly. Just like it's impossible to play a drum smoothly. It's impossible. Because once you hit it, the sound goes away. Now, it goes away longer on a piano than it does on a drum. But it's still, it goes away. And so the next note you hit is going to be bong, bong, bong. How do you play that smoothly? It's about illusion. It's about, it's about your mind. It's about a mindset that allows you to create the illusion of smoothly connected legato. Staccato is easy. But legato is hard. And one of, the th- one of the things that you do is you put energy into your fingers. Whoa, energy into your fingers. Yeah, you put energy into your fingers. And magically, the tone becomes better. That's a really hard thing for new students to figure out. Because so many times we talk about being relaxed. We talk about, um, you know, technique. But how do you put energy? Like, if you've never put energy into your fingers, 
in a way that is um, productive. I don't mean like screwing on a screw or something like that, but I mean I mean like where you have to be precise. And those of you who are artismen, if you're if you're a carpenter, if you're a tradesman, and you do you know you I think you understand what I'm talking about. Being precise means having energy, having a certain amount of focus, um, and listening. Like when you're playing the piano, you gotta listen. All right. So what what does that have to do with goal setting, non goal setting, non resolution setting? Finding that energy, you gotta put the put that same energy that makes a piano appear to be legato. You put that same energy into that one thing that you that you that you need to do. You're calling. And magically, everything else falls into place. So don't set goals. Goals do nothing for you. Goals are goals are as about as impactful as 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 a piece of paper, as a receipt, as a you know, as a constitution that nobody looks at (laughs) as a, I mean, it's just, it's just, they're just words, 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 words. I think I used that in the last, maybe even the last podcast, like, and there's some truth to that. There's in fact, it is a truth. That is a truth. Listen, listen to your angel from above, Mike Levitt. Listen to and of love remains. It is the truth. Setting goals is so far less productive than finding your calling and doing that one thing with energy. What is that one thing? And here's, here's the trick. Here's a trick. That one thing might not bring you financial success. That calling that you have, the thing that God puts you on this earth to do may not be the thing that feeds your family. And you have to come to a realization of that. But it might just be the thing that gives you purpose. And, and here's, here, this is the reality like the Bible is right. You cannot serve two masters. You have to have that one thing. You have to have that one thing. And if it becomes profitable and you're able to serve people in such a way that, that they're, that they're willing to pay you money, man, God bless you because that's, that's a blessing that a lot of people don't have. And this is something I think especially men need to hear. They need to hear there's a difference between your occupation, what you do that puts bread on the table, and what your purpose, what God put you on this earth to do. And you got to find that, man. And the earlier you find that, the better. You know, um, I'm not a big believer Listen, I've made mistakes. I was going to say I'm not a big believer in mistakes. And, and the reason I say that is not because I don't believe in mistakes. You can make mistakes and you can do stupid stuff. But if you're able to learn from it and do something with it, and you're always able to learn from stuff, all right? You're always able to learn from stuff. But I will say um, a wrong path that I took early in my career was... Um, doing something that I knew for a long time that I enjoyed doing. I love the people I was around. Like, I don't want to like miss, I want, don't want you to misinterpret any of what I'm saying. I loved what I did. I learned a ton and I loved the people who I was working with, but it wasn't my calling. It wasn't the thing I was put on this earth to do. And it was taking too much of my time to allow me to do that thing that God put me on this earth to do. Do you hear what I'm saying? 
Because if you're doing what God put you on this earth to do, it doesn't matter if you get money or if you don't from that thing because it will fulfill you. And that's how you know. And you will put energy into it. But you have to be willing to do that. Don't set goals. Find your thing. Find your calling. Man, I'm telling you. People make this mistake for years and years and years and years. If you want to lose weight, go find that thing that brings you life. If you want to make money, go find that thing that brings you life. If you want to get out of debt, go find that thing that brings you life. If you want to fix your relationship with your wife or kids, go find that thing that changes your life. If you want to have a better relationship with God, here's that. Here's one. If you want to have a better relationship with God, do the thing that he put you on this earth to do. Don't think you're going to like, don't think you're going to find it in scriptures and prayer. Although you, although you'll find peace and you'll, I mean, like I do not like, I believe in the power of prayer. I believe in the power of scriptures, but like faith without works is dead. Go do that thing that he put you on. The, do that thing that he put you on this earth to do. And your relationship with, with him will be better. If you want to have a, if you, if you want, and here's the thing, let's say um, you have a job. Maybe you're a waiter or uh, you um, work in insurance or, you know, you, you do one thing or the other and, and it's, you know, it makes you money, but it's not your passion. That's so okay. Like that's, that's like the human condition, man. But here's the thing. Find the thing that God puts you on this earth to do. And your relationship with your work will be better. I mean, and even if you never make a dime from that thing. Cause how many things, uh, let me tell you a story about a guy. Um, his name is Murray Rothbard. He fell in love with economics and this is, and this is, I'm going to so go over quickly this thing. Um, he, uh, took classes. Um, he audited classes by a guy, named uh, Ludwig von, von Mises, who was a very famous Austrian economist, um, didn't even pay for the class or Walter Bart did. He audited the class. But he fell in love with the ideas of freedom and the ideas that, that, econo- that this theory of economics brought. And he began to write. He began to write. And um, here's the thing. He got his doctorate. Um, he could not get a job because because just like today at the time Austrian economics was was way out of favor um and so he couldn't get a job teaching economics at like a you know even though he had all he I mean the amount of work that he put out in the mid 60s early 60s alone is insane but he got a job at a, I think a small engineering school Teaching engineering class students economics. Okay. And these engineering students didn't, I mean, they literally didn't care about economics. They were just doing the, the whatever was required to, to finish their degree. So it wasn't like he was fulfilling his passion, but it was giving him a paycheck. But he, you know what? He put energy into that and his relation, and he did, and people say his lectures were insanely good. And why were they insanely good? Because he was fulfilling his passion by pursuing other endeavors outside that he was not making a lot of money in. He was writing book reviews. He was writing, he was doing other things. And he he has become one of the most influential um, liberty-minded thinkers of the 20th century, like easily. And And I think his influence is only growing. And there's story and story and story about like that. I I don't want to, um, like, 
If you find, if you can make a ton of money doing the thing that God put you on this earth to do, that's great. That's wonderful. And that's a blessing. And, and I hope you thank God, but that does not relieve you of responsibility. If you, if it's not making you money, that doesn't relieve you of the responsibility of doing that thing that God put you on this earth to do. He didn't put you on this earth to make money. That's for sure. That may or may not be a byproduct. He put you on this earth to do something. And it's up to you to find that thing. So in this 2024, I'm going to put out to you here on the broadcast of And If Love Remains. Don't set goals. Don't set resolutions. Find that one thing. Put energy into that one thing. And if you do that, everything else will fall into place. You listen to End of What Remains. Mike is gone. You are listening to End of Love Remains. First, I have 20 minutes of silence requested by Dr. Levin. Brandon, why don't you?